One question I see a lot is how do you get that awesome looking Sauron mace? Well, I will tell you that in this video and take an in-depth look at this heavy blonde weapon. So if you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. From the moment I got this mallet of everlasting flame, it has been one of my favorite weapons in the game. It's on fire all the time thanks to the weapon damage becomes fire damage legendary perk or of course known as the on fire perk from Origin. So no need for the flaming attacks ability giving you some extra ability points to toy around with but more on that a little later in this video. The weapon really goes all out in terms of fire with the plus 20% fire damage perk and of course the warrior damage as well making this a great weapon for a warrior playstyle. And you can make the already strong fire damage of the weapon even better with the fire mastery ability. So again the flaming attacks is not needed since the weapon is on fire anyways. You would still need to put one point in that ability so you are able to unlock the fire mastery ability increasing the fire build up by 60% on level 3 so how fast the enemies burn and also increasing the burn duration by 6 seconds so they take damage over time for longer. So yes, then you can just walk away while the enemies die thanks to the flaming damage. For engraving, I put the minus one adrenaline cost for the overpower abilities on the weapon that you get from one of the best weapons you get for killing the mythical creatures in the game. I made a video on that weapon and how you can get it that you can watch by clicking on the screen. Because yeah, as I noted in many other videos as well, the overpower attack of the heavy blonde weapon is amazing. So paying two adrenaline bars for it instead of three is super, super nice. Other perks that can be nice are of course more fire damage and build up or just more damage with the heavy blonde weapon in general can also of course work well. If you by the way get this mace you unlock the legendary perk as an engraving so all the weapons can instantly be on fire. You of course have to visit the blacksmith in order to engrave other weapons. So yes first you need to get this mace and you get it on level 46 from a level 46 mercenary called Tennis the Smoldering but he might have a different name in your game. Anyway when I was level 42 he already started to roam the world when I was in Boetia and I hope I pronounced it right but Obviously he will just be nearby wherever you are when you already climbed the mercenary ranks and are of course around his level. So I would suggest around level 44 because that is when you want to fight him to have a good chance cause a ton of chaos so your bounty raises so kill people in a camp or in my case at a construction site and when I got bounty level 2 he already showed up with the mallet in one hand and a regular mace in the other. I luckily had my lieutenant by my side thanks to the call to arms ability and could take him out pretty easily with my bow and by sometimes just doing some melee hits. Careful though for his burning effect of course I always hold the dodge button to immediately get it off me. That's way easier than just dodging a few times so if you keep that in mind you should be able to kill him for sure and then the mallet of the everlasting flame will be yours subscribe for everything as a screen odyssey i got way more tips and tricks and how to get weapons and gear in the game videos coming your way like this video to support channel check out my video on the best weapons you get from the mythical creatures and i will of course speak to you next time goodbye